It is time for your 
David Radio Program, Caddy from the Word, with your host, your brother, Oscar York, the voice, on the Streaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian world. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118, 24. Good morning, everyone. We hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Amen, amen. Good morning. Good, good morning. This is February the 10th. February. <laughs> I think that's right. This is February 10th, 2022. We're lost. We're so glad to be with you this morning. Early this morning at 9 o'clock, and we hope that you are woke and ready to hear another episode from us here at Study from the World. All right. <laughs> All right, brother Oscar. All right, we're ready. We are ready. <laughs> because we recognize the Lord has blessed us with another one for day. A day on yesterday was not even promised to us, but the Lord has given all of us we on this side of heaven, we don't on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. A second chance, a, another chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Amen. And amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Amen. And a amen. We are so thankful. We really are to bring this program on to you Mondays through Fridays. We just uh, this is our pet P here. If Brother Oscar can. <laughs> Use that word pet peeve. We love this program and we hope that you love it too. My friends, do you have your ears on? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear another episode from us here at Chatting from the Word? We hope that you are. We hope that you have your ears on and that you are ready to hear another episode from us. And ready to praise the Lord. Because praising the Lord is what we do here on Honey from the Word. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> amen and amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Well, he just, he just so glad that the Lord has blessed him today. You know, every day I'm you know, every day I can wake up and, you know, see a sunshine or see a gloomy day. I know the Lord has blessed me, blessed me, and blessed me. First of all, we want to welcome all of our listeners. If this is your first time listening in, we want you to know that you are our uh, welcome guest. But not only our welcome guests, but we honor you today, thanking you for having your ears on and for listening to us today. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen. 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 Bro, ask me to see. Sometimes my beard is <laughs> getting away. <laughs> Oh, but Mike, <laughs> doesn't need to save it down from, I guess. But we want to welcome you to the program. We really do. And we hope that you love what you're listening to. And if you love what you're listening to, tell your friends about us here at Chatting from the Word. 
Tell them that we're on at 9 o'clock, Mondays to Friday. Share us on Facebook, click it in Instagram, and uh, wherever you are on the internet network. Share, share, and share. My friend, I hope you recognize that, you know, this program did not run on air. We need your contributions. If you have not sent in your contributions yet, send them in. Send them in because we we need we want to keep this writing program going. We need to keep it going, hoping that others will hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and come believing in the body in the church of Christ. This program is very, very important. As I said on yesterday, it's not too many uh, programs like this one. We have them, sure. And uh, when, I'm, when I'm saying many, it's not too many compared to what's out there and what the world has to, uh, the choice that they have to make. It's not too many. Uh, programs that come to on playing a cappella music and with a positive message for today. So we hope that you can help us in a financial way. And if you want to help us out in a financial way, you can send your contributions to our well, our uh, PayPal account. We do have a PayPal account. Just go to PayPal.com and put in my email address, which is lowercase. Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or you can go to Zell and put my email address in. Again, it's a little case, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And we do need your contributions to keep this fine program going and going. Amen and a a man. Where am I, you all? Where am I? I am here on Chatting from the Word, and I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Oh, Lord. <laughs> amen, amen. Oh, Brother Austin, we're just so happy today that the Lord has blessed him. Amen, we really, really are. Now, most of you are aware of where we are broadcasting from. We say it every day on the air that we are broadcasting from that beautiful, wonderful state of Ohio. Yes, we are. Amen. We are broadcasting from Ohio. And Ohioans, we hope that you have ears on. Keep your ears on, Ohioans, and tell others about us here at Chatting. From the word, keep on listening, keep on listening, don't just listen one day. And so remember, Oscar, that's the way you feel about it, I want to turn you off. Don't do that. Keep on listening so that you can get the whole picture. <laughs> keep on listening, Ohioans. And then a hat's off to Michigan. Michigan, we appreciate you completely this morning. We want to thank you for getting your numbers up there. You are growing, Michigan. Keep on, Michiganers. To listen to us here on Channel from the Word, and we appreciate you very, very much. Yes, we do. Thank you, Channel, for listening in. And also, Texas. Texas still hanging in there. Thank you, Texans, for hanging in there. But tell all the Texans about us. Let them know that we are on the air at 9 o'clock. Let them know, Texans, that we are on the air. We appreciate you too, Texans. We really, 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 amen. And, uh, hey, hey, man. And also, Illinois. Illinois is in the house. Thank you, Illinois. We appreciate you too for listening up to us and having your ears on. Thank you, Illinois.
And also, also, California and Arizona is in the house as well. And we want to thank you for having your ears on. Amen. And a a man. Amen. What time is it, Brother Oscar? It is time for us to take a snapshot of the program today. Amen. This is our snapshot. This is our snapshot. <laughs> we want you to let you know. We want to let you know what you are in store for on our program this morning. We want to let you know, Cole, that you can keep your ears on and keep on listening. Of course, you heard an introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And in a while, we will be in our prayer time, our prayer time, our prayer time. Of course, Radius Acapella will be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And of course, uh, we're going to have our scripture reading. Our scripture reading will be taken from 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 23. And if you want to read along with us, you're welcome to do just, just that. And then the song, the song that we are going to, are selected <laughs> for you hearing today will be my friend, we loved Johnny so much. He was a good friend of ours and still is in a memorially way. Our friend who we loved so dearly, and that was the late Johnny Wilder Jr. He was a member, a good brother of the body of Christ. And we're going to play his song today, which is my goal. He asked the question. My goal is still going to heaven. What is your goal? With all the messages that are going on today, with all the messages that you can believe in today, is your goal still going to heaven? So we're going to be playing the late Johnny Wilder Jr. My goal. And then the message, the message the church, the called out. And we still are in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And this is a continuation on marriage. We're talking about marriage. And marriage is one of the, uh, uh, if Brother Oscar can say this, and if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, is one of the most controversial issues among us that are claiming, are naming the name of Christ. And marriage and divorcement and remarriage have been one of the most controversial issues among us that are saved. And, and uh, when we have controversial issues, the way I believe it, that the best thing we can do is to study the, the Word of God when it comes to that. And in the day lesson, most of you may be, may be surprised by what you may hear today about marriage, and as always, if you, if you disagree with me, you can always uh, email me and talk with me and say, Brother Oscar, uh, why are you saying it like that? <laughs> All right, so that's going to be our message today. It's going to be about marriage. Get married, stay married, and stay together. Get married, stay married, and stay together. So, my friend, if you want to hear that message, keep your ears on so that you can hear the chat for today. And that was your snapshot of the program today. Amen. Amen. That, that, that. <laughs> that was your snapshot. My friend, do you hear the train? Toot toot, it's coming. It's coming into the station at this time. Are you ready to get on board 
Line up, line up, line up, and have your ticket out so we can see your ticket. Get on board. If you have your ticket out, get on board, get on board, get on board. Choo-choo. We're getting ready to take off. Get on board, get on board. All is on board.
a man and a man. That was Radiance Acapella, Sweet Hour of Prayer. And of course, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Teddy from the Word, just email it to us. Our email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com or you can put it on any page that you are listening to the program through. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on chatting from the word, just send it to those avenues that we just mentioned. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine with us here at Chatting from the Word. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And we will do just that. If you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, with due respect to confidentiality here, just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And we will be so, so delighted to do that. And as always, keep in your prayers those that we've been requesting prayer for, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times at this time, and those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, keep your brother here, Brother Oscar, in your prayers as well. Pray for me as I pray for you. I was good for reading. If you have a copy of God's Word, and if you would love to be along with us, we will be coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, and the verse is 15 through 23. That is 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 15 through 23. And Apostle Paul penned these words. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies, through all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, are you ready? Are you ready to enter the throne room of, of grace of our Lord and Savior, of our Father, and talk with our Father in the name of our Savior? Are you ready? Let us bow our heads in prayer, talking with our Father. Sweet Our Father, friend, which are you coming? Well, be the most precious, righteous name. Father, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts, Father, and on our minds. Thanking you, Father, for watching over us on last evening as we slept in slumber. Thanking you, Father, for allowing us to see another day of day, 
that we've never seen before. Giving us a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance to walk closer and closer with you, oh Father. We thank you so much, so much, so much for that. And Father, Father, we thank you again for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to show us how to connect back to you, and take it on the cross becoming sin, who knew no sin became sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, 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 we just thank you so much for our Savior. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And Father, we come praying at this time. For the world, Father, we recognize that the world as a whole stands at a far distance from you. But Father, what we request that you allow us to, as Christians, to shine our light brightly so that we may win others to Christ. When others to the body, when others to Jesus Christ and his kingdom. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have contracted this coronavirus, Father. We pray that you rise in their bodies, Father, out their bed of sickness, touch their bodies so they may get well and praise you. Oh, Father, we come praying in this time for this pandemic will you help us, Father, to maintain our Christian way of living. Father, help us to maintain faith and trust in you. And Father, we come praying for those who are all lovers. Father, we pray that to be with them, guide them, comfort them through their time of mourning. Father, for that love, Father. And Father, we come praying for those who are all lovers. At the hands of the police, Father, we pray. We pray, Father, that you conquer them and Father be with police officers as well who had to take up life. Father, we pray that you be with them as well. As long as we was justified, that you be with them too. And Father, we come praying for our political leaders at this time. Don't divide it, Father. We pray that they never make laws bidding us to worship. But make laws so we all can be in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, 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 we come praying for the body of Christ, the church of Christ. As a whole, Father, we pray that you allow us to be the shining light, the guiding light, guiding others to the shore of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. We pray, Father, that you be with them, help them to their struggles, help them to their struggles, help them to their through their unbelief and doubts. Cast their unbelief and doubt from the deepest part of the sea where it won't resurface anymore, Father. And Father, 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 we come praying for our program here chatting from the word. Oh, Father, help us keep this fine program going and going. Help us keep on teaching and preaching the word, the word, Father. Just help us. Help us with the message today. Get married, stay married, and stay together. Father, help us that we may say something to help someone this morning. And Father, we continue on praying for those that we've been praying for all this time. Father, we pray that you will uh, keep them, hold them close in your arms. Help them through the struggles. And help those they're trying to teach and treat your word. And as Father, as always, keep us encouraged and not discouraged. Help us to keep on teaching and preaching your word. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. First of all, we want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, we hope and pray that we prayed for something 
that is on your minds. All right. We'll be right back with the second half after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We are back. We are back with the second half. We want to welcome you to the second half. And we hope that you still have ears on and that you are listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar here, on Chatting from the Woods. We just enjoy bringing you this program on every Mondays through Fridays, if it be the Lord's will. We really enjoy it. And we really enjoy bringing you for you these messages that we do and playing the beautiful a cappella music that we do play. And if you want to continue on listening to us here at Chatting from the Word, if you want us to continue on playing the beautiful a cappella music, if you want us to continue the, the message of hope, help us out financially, we do need your contributions. And if you have not sent any contributions, we hope that you do it soon. And if you're wondering where to send it to, we do have an account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and I'll put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle and do the same. Put in the email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And we hope you do it soon because we do need your contributions to keep this fine program going and going. Amen. Amen. My friend, do you like us? Well, well, you like us on our speaker platform where we're coming on live at this time. It is a place where you can put your like. But if you love us, be our next follower on our speaker platform. And we're also coming live on YouTube. And if you love us live on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. But if you really love us, subscribe to our station on YouTube and hit the bell, the notification bell, so that they may notify you each time we are bringing an episode. And we also are tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. If you love us on Twitter, let us know that as well. And we also are Tumblr, Tumblr on Tumblr. If you love us on Tumblr, we are so grateful for that. For right now, I think the page live is not up, but we are coming on to our Facebook. So if you have a chance to listen to us through Facebook, share our program with your friends that are on Facebook, because we all need encouragement to keep on living and striving and moving and going for the Lord. Amen. And amen. But my friend, don't let that be the reason why you're not listening because you're not getting it. Go and get it yourself. Because we are on majority of the internet networks. We're on onpodium.com, Audrey, Music Download, VSC, Lay, Joseph R, Chrome Wellview, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, Farplayer.net. Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Partation, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBlock Podcasts, Alex Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, Click It In, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Player App Store, download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, do us a favor. Look us up, Chatty from the Word, hosted by Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that on tomorrow, you will not miss not one episode. And tomorrow, you'll be ready to hear our episode. Isn't that a great idea? Well, you think so, tune in. Don't tune out. <laughs> tune us in, but don't tune us out. <laughs> amen. And a, a man. Where am I? Oh, where am I? I am here on Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York Bogors, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word 
and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Amen, 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 <laughs> amen, and we are so glad to do it, and now uh, it's that time for us to play our own selection for this program, and my heart, my heart goes into this beautiful, beautiful song, it's the song, it's the, it's the individual that's singing the song, plus the song itself. The late Johnny Wilder Jr. Beautiful brother. I love him as a brother. And uh, he, he was a, a member of the Resident Park Church of Christ in the great city of Dayton, Ohio. And we all miss him, Johnny. We miss you, Johnny. And here's the late Johnny Wilder's song. We love this song. The song is. My goal, we love it. We really love this song. Yes, we do. Amen. Amen. And here he is, the late Johnny Wilder Jr. My goal. Of applause for Johnny Wilder Jr. Thank you. With all the talk, what is your goal? Let's talk. With all the talk, yes, what is your goal? With all the talk, what is your goal? Now that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know that heaven is my goal. Streets are faith, the purest gold. The breath of God blows gently through my soul. The pearly gate shines and sparkles on a rainbow beam. And Lord, I hear all to you, please make my dream come true. Let me talk if they want to. Well, heaven, 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 
what is your goal? With all the broke, tell me what is your goal? Tell me what is your goal? Amen, amen, and amen. Again, that was the late Johnny Waldo Jr. My goal. What is your goal, my friend? Is your goal going to heaven? You'd be surprised many people go, with my going to heaven. Uh, many people just don't care anymore about God, about the Lord, about our Creator. But I don't know about you, my friend, but going to heaven is my goal. What is your goal? Is your goal going to heaven or is it going to hell? <laughs> Easy, simply put. If it's going to heaven, is your goal going to heaven? You need to live for the Lord today and praise him and glorify him and give him all his glory. Amen, amen. Good job, child. Our goal, my goal, is heaven. All right, we'll be back with the chat after these messages. All right, all right, all right. It is that time. It is that time for our chat. And we hope you have a copy of God's word so that you can follow us on this chat, especially this chat, because what we're chatting about today is very controversial, and we want you to read it for yourselves in the word of God. But as always, we, we just don't teach, we just don't preach here on Chatting from the Word, but what we do, we chat about God's word. We don't want to talk over you or beneath you. But what we want to do is talk with you, to chat with you about the word of God. Because I believe uh, that chatting may be one of the best way of reasoning with anyone when it comes to salvation. Because I believe that salvation is too important to miss. See, when, when, when God sent his son down here to die on the cross, and when he rose the third day triumphantly from the tomb, it gives us hope that one day he's going to raise us up as well if we're not alive when he comes back. And he's going to take us home with him, where we can live through all eternity. And I don't know about you, my friend, but for me, it is important for me to live for him so that one day I can hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on home. You, 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 you earn your reward. You earn your rest. You earn your keep. Come on home, my son. And I don't know about you, but I want to hear that. Don't you want to hear that, my friend? Don't you want to hear that the Lord will call you home? Or do you want to stay here and be destroyed with Satan and his angels? So, my friend, that makes a difference, you know that? It makes a difference 
It makes a difference where you're going to heaven or hell. Ain't no in-between place. Some of us will want to believe it's an in-between place. But there's no in-between place. It's either heaven or it's either hell. One or the other. One or the other. Today's lesson, as I said, is a very controversial lesson. I believe Apostle Paul knew the nitty controversy that will occur with marriage and remarriage and divorcements and all that. And here, if you have a copy of God's Word, turn with us to, let me see here, to uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, turn with us to 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter, and we want to begin at verse, at verse, let me see here y'all, at verse 8, where Paul says, I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them that they are not even as I. And what Paul meant that that Paul, he has become part of a unit for the cause of Christ. In other words, Paul is not is not going after sex. Paul is abstaining from sex so that he can keep his body. Well, in fit and in tune to preach and teach the word of God. I know many today teach, well, I'm the same way. I'm like the Apostle Paul. I'm abstaining. I'm abstaining. But what Paul meant here, Paul said, if that your gift, if you're able to do that, some is not able to do it. So Paul is saying, if you're not able to abstain, get married. Get married, stay married, and stay together. Get married, stay married, and stay together. You know, during this pandemic, it has put doubt in many marriages. People are losing jobs or I've lost jobs. Income is not what it used to be. Can't afford that uh, five, six thousand dollars a month mortgage anymore. Can't afford to put food on the table because one lost a job because of this pandemic. And I believe the message here is more vital today than at any other time. Because it, it, it needs someone to holler out, to, to shout out the message that marriages should stay together under any circumstances. But many marriages, they are, are they are separating for any purpose or any reason. It can be <laughs> for money, sure. It can be so simple as she can't cook. Uh, uh, he, he don't massage my feet like he used to. Any, any excuses nowadays people are breaking up. Not that long, this pandemic, and one of the spouses lose their job. And they don't have the financial, financial capability that they once had. But my friend, when you marry that individual, you marry him. And in some vows, I think they take it out nowadays. You marry that person for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. And if you love him, it doesn't matter if you love her or if you love him, love would take over. And some people say, well, love don't pay the bills. No, it don't. But what love does cause you to understand and work together and be patient with one another. 
That's what love does. But here Paul is saying, in verse 8, I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them that they abide even as I. And, you know, when we look at that word unmarried, uh, most people want to put a lot of emphasis on what is defined as one uh, being unmarried. Unmarried simply meant one that's not married. Am I correct? Regardless, one that's not married, and then he talks and says also the widows and the widowers. But unmarried simply means one that's not married. One that's not married. Okay? And then Paul says, in verse 9, But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. That contain means that they cannot control themselves. You know, sex, and, and we said this the other day, is a gift from God. Sex is nothing that is dirty or low down. A lot of us have accepted the concept that sex is something foul and dirty and nasty, if Brother Austin can say that. But it's where you play sex that makes it that way. Now you play sex outside of the confinement of, of marriage, yes. Because sex is for those that are married, those that have given themselves to one another, those that have dedicated themselves to each other. But in that sense, my friend, sex is welcome. Sex is welcome. And my, uh, those of you that's married and love each other, you know, people say, well, you can't have sex this way, that way. That's your business. <laughs> uh, brother, I also like to say that your business. But sex is something that God puts in our marriages. And here Paul says, if you cannot, if you are unmarried, and talk about those that are not married, and widows are widowers, and if you cannot contain yourself, go ahead on and get married. Go ahead on and find someone. Go ahead on and get married. And this is what Paul is saying here. And in verse 10 said, Paul said, And unto the married, I command yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. And since the apostle Paul referred back to the Lord, turn with me quickly, and we're going to hit on this a little bit, and we're going to talk more about this on tomorrow. Matthew 19. Matthew 19 says, Paul says, the Lord says it. And we really want to see what the Lord says about marriage, remarriage, and divorce. Is that all right with you? That's what we're going to start off tomorrow. But let me give you a little taste of what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Here in Matthew 19. You must keep in mind that the Pharisees is trying to get Jesus in a compromised position and try to trick him. And, and, and the captain says, Matthew says, and it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these things, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. A great month to follow him, and he healed him there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? 
for every cause. What we must recognize here, listen to the way they put the question. Is it good for a man to put away his wife for any cause? Now, they didn't state how to put away your wife, but what are you talking about? What are you talking about putting away your wife? So in the next statement, listen to the way Jesus answered, and then we're going to close off here. In verse 4, it said, And he answered them, and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning, made them male and female? And I said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cling to his wife, and the twine shall be one flesh. The twine shall be one flesh. Clean, my friend. Don't let mother and father, sisters and brothers get between your marriage. Cleave to one another. We're going to get on out of here. That's our message for today. And we hope uh, that we said something to help you grow in your marriage, to help you get closer, both of you together, get closer with the Father. Amen and amen. We'll be right back with the closing after these messages. All right, all right, all right, we're back, we're back. But we got to get on out of here. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves today. I hope you kept ears long enough to hear the whole the whole program. And we hope that you enjoyed yourself as well today, praising the Lord and hearing a message on marriage. And if you want to hear the rest of it, join us tomorrow. Because this message gets real, real good because I believe that uh, this message is for us today. And I'm trying to help somebody out there now. If you have a marriage that's crumbling, this is a good something good for you to hear now. <laughs> you may not agree with me, but you know, we're trying to come from God's word. So we hope that we can reason together on this matter. And as always, if you have something that uh, you want to say to Brother Oscar, hey, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to email me. And if you have a brother, you want to come on the program, you know, and talk, you know, but though it's open there, you can always come. But again, we want to thank those that listen to us live. We appreciate you uh, very, very much. We want to thank you for listening to us live. And if you did not get a chance to listen to us live, of course, you can catch us on many of our internet networks that we've come on. We have told you who they were in mid show, so we hope that you visit them and pull us up, chatting from the word hosted by Oscar, and listen to the program. But we must get on out of here. Our time has been for spent. We really enjoy bringing you this program on this morning. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom is here. Thy will is then done. Father, we thank you for allowing us to come together once again. To hear a beautiful song, to spend some time with one another in praise, and to hear a message. Oh, Father, we thank you for all your blessings. And Father, we pray for each listener that you be with them, guide them, strengthen them, help them to have a beautiful, wholesome, and a wonderful day. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, love somebody. Love. Everybody, bye-bye, and may God bless. Your grace and